فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا دا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبي وسيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد وعند إسبانيشن في كتاب شرح الآب الرومية وفينش كان وأخواتها and inshallah ta'ala today we're going to start inna wa akhawatuha sam wa amma inna wa akhawatuha fa innaha tansibu al-isma wa tarfa al-qadar wa hiya inna wa anna wa lakinna wa ka'anna wa laytha wa la'alla taqulu inna zaydan qa'imun wa laytha amran shafisun wa akhwama ashahari wa ma'na inna wa anna lithawki ولكن للاستدراك وكأن للتشبيه وليت للتمني والعادة للترجي والتوقع الشيخ رحمه الله he goes into the second type of the نواسخ the second type of the نواسخ إن وأخواتها the word أخواتها here is its sisters and those who do the same action as إن it enters onto the مبتدأ and the خبر just like Kana did. It enters onto, um, it enters into the mubtada and the khabar. So what it does to the mubtada is that it makes it mansub and it calls it its name. So it's called ismu inna and it places raf'a on the khabar and it's called khabaru inna. And the author, rahimahullah, here he mentions six particles, six ahruf of inna and its sisters. The first one he mentions is inna, which is a kasra on the hamza. So it's i, inna. And the second one is fatha, which is anna, anna. And the meaning of both of them is a tawkid emphasis. It's basically taqwiyatun nisbati wa taqriruha fi dhihni sami'i. It's actually to make something still and solidified in the mind of the person which you're talking to. So for example, you will say, Inna Muhammadan Fahimun. So Inna Muhammadan, here is basically that definitely Muhammad is one who understands. In English, I think they would use the word verily. The second example is Alimtu, I, I came to know Anna abaka qadimun That your father has come And the word Anna, it falls in the sentence Whereas Inna starts with it The third one is Lakinna Lakinna is, its meaning is istidraq Istidraq here means that Whatever you've previously mentioned You're now, you're now coming back and you're negating whatever doubts that have come regarding it. It's called ittiba' al kalami bi nafiyin ma yatawahham thubutu. So when you're speaking, sometimes uh, in your speeches things can be taken in a way. So once you say what you want to say, and you come and you say but, and then you clear the misconceptions in your speech. This is called istidraq. Okay, for example, you say خرج المسافرون The travelers have left لكن محمد جالس But Muhammad is sitting So in other words, you don't want Muhammad to be part of You don't want Muhammad to be part of those who are thought to be To be from those who are thought to be traveling The fourth one is كأنا and ka'anna is tashbih. It's like you're resembling two things with one another. Or you're trying to compare two things. Tashbih. Ka'anna is what? It's tashbih. And it is tashriku amri li amrin fi ma'ana. It is basically bringing two words together in meaning by the letter kaf. It's like saying ka'anna bakran shamsun. It is like bakar is the sun. 
the way he illuminates and he glows. The fifth is later. Later means tamanni, he wishes for something. I only wish this happened. And later is a wish with you, which you would say is talabul mustahil. The person is actually looking for something that's the impossible. Or something, or there's hardship for it to even happen. It may be able to happen, but it's close to impossible. Like, for example, the one who says, Layta shababu ya'udu yawman fa'ukbiruhu bima yaf'aluhu al-mashibu. I only wish that I can go back to being young again so I can tell uh, what the elders are doing. So, Layta shababu ya'udu, Layta shababa ya'udu, sorry. Layta shababa, if only being a youth can come back. Can that come back? It doesn't come back. The sixth, which is the last one, is la'alla. La'alla is tarajji wa tawakku'. It's something you wish, you love for it to happen. And it's in, the, it's in the possible, something that could happen. It's only things that are possible. That's what the word la'alla is used for. It's the word later that is not used. Okay? That's why if you say Allah Yarhamuni, here it means something can happen, right? But there are things before that for Allah to have mercy upon you, there are things that are needed from you first of all. halikun. Maybe the enemies are destroyed. Then the author went on to the full third type of the Nawasikh, which are so all of these that I mentioned from Inna wa Akhawatuha, all of Inna and his sisters, they all what they do is when they enter onto the Mubtada, by default they change it to, uh, they change its ruling and they change its naming. The name changes, it's, never, it's no longer called Mubtada. And nor is it called what? And nor is it called Khabar anymore. It's called Ismu Inna, Khabaru Inna is called. And also it changes both of their harakat. One used to be uh, marfu' it turned it into mansub, which is the ism. And the khabar used to be marfu' and it turned it into marfu'. Now. <laughs> now the author goes into the third type from the Nawasikh. Okay? From the Nawasikh, which is Ghana and its sisters, Wa Akhawatuha. The word Wa Akhawatuha here means a Nawairuha, Fil Amali, those who are like it in, in, in action. It enters again, like the ones we mentioned before, it enters upon the Mubtada and it enters upon the Khabar. And what it does to both of them, it places nasp on both of them on the grounds that they are now both maf'ulaini, that they are both maf'uls. What it will do to both of them is it will place nasp on both of them. It will make both of them mansub. Okay, they both used to be what? Marfu'. It will come and it will make both of them mansub. Not only that, they both are, on, on what grounds though? On what grounds is it making it mansub? On the grounds that it's a maf'ul bi. I mean, it's a maf'ul. And it's how many types? Ten types that the author here mentions. Ten verbs. Dhanna. So you say, Dhanantu Mahmoodan Mujtahidan. Dhanantu. I believed that Muhammad, I'm a Mahmood, is a Mujtahid, one who is striving. The second one is Hasibtu. Hasibtu Bakran Suddiqa. I thought Bakr is a friend. Khiltu al Halala Talian. Zaamtu Aliyan Shujaan. Raaitu Muhammadan Mujtahidan. Alimtu al Ilmana Fian. Wajetu Salata Munjiatan. And it takada is what? What takada Allahu Ibrahim Khalila. Jaala is Jaal Tutina Ibriqa. 
all of those. The third, which is Samir to Ibrahim, Yakra'u. So now, the ten that we mentioned from Dhanna wa Khawatuha, it's categorized into four. Are you with me, brothers? We can categorize the ten that the author now mentioned for dhanna wa akhawatuha. The first one is a type. Are you with me? The first type is qismun yufidu tarjih wuqu' al maf'ul thani. This first one is it benefits strengthening the idea and the motion notion that the maf'ul, the second maf'ul will come. And that's the first four. The first four are like that. The second one is those which benefit certainty. And the maf'ul thani will happen definitely 100%. And it is the three after it. Ra'a, alima, and wajada. Huh? And it is the three which come after it. The next three that come after it, sorry, the next two that come after it, which is Ittakhad and Ja'ala, they basically show a Tasheer. Tasheer means what? That it sara, it became something. And the fourth, which is the last one, is it shows husul nisbah. It shows in accordance, and it is the last one, which is the fourth. And we will speak about that in more details in the explanation of mutammimatul uh, ajrumiya. Now. <laughs> the author rahimahullah ta'ala he used the word and this is ibarat al kufiyin it is the usage of the scholars of kufa are you with me whereas the basriyin the scholars of basra they used Sifa. Are you with me? They use Sifa. And the scholars of Kufa, they use Na'at. Okay? Then the Tawabi' are you with me, brothers? Are basically four things that follow. Uh, they follow the Man'ut. Sorry, they follow the matbu' the thing that they, 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 wherever they're following, they're following in terms of its rulings. We'll see what, what, we, mean, what we mean by that. So the na'at follows the man'ut, okay? Which is that whatever it's describing is what it's going to follow. And it's going to follow it, as the author mentioned here, fi raf'ihi in its raf'ah. And it will follow it in its nasb. And it will follow it in its khaf. And it will even follow it in its what? If it's definite, it will become definite. If it's indefinite, it will also become indefinite. Are you with me, brothers? So if it's mu'arraf, it's mu'arraf. If it's nakira, it's nakira. And we'll see what that means, inshaAllah ta'ala. So then again, here we have to learn what is mu'arraf, what is nakira. The author will go into that, inshaAllah ta'ala. So the tawabi' are four types. The first that the author here mentions is um, it's na'at, um, he goes into. And after that, when he speaks about Na'at, the author will then speak about At, okay? And then the author will speak about the uh, Tawqeed, and then after he'll speak about the Badal, okay? So it's Na'at, he speaks about first, and then he speaks about the At, and then the Badal, and then the Tawqeed. 
The na't, which we're going to speak about today, are two types. Haqiqi and sababi. The na't is two types. وَيَنْقَسِمُ إِلَىٰ قِسْمَيْنِ It's divided and it's categorized into two. <coughs> okay, the first one is called a na'at al-haqiqi. It's a na'at which is haqiqa, it's real, it's real. Okay. The first one is called Haqiqi. The first one is called Haqiqi. What's the difference between the difference between a Na'at al-Haqiqi and a Na'at al-Sababi? A Na'at al-Haqiqi yubayyinu, it clarifies sifatun min sifati matbu'ihi. It describes and it explains a characteristics from the characteristics of the one it's following. Okay? It's describing for you a characteristics that's found, you know, it clarifies, okay, sifa min sifati matbu'ihi, a characteristic from the characteristics of the one who it's speaking about, okay, or the one it's following. Whereas, na'atu sababi, are you with me? As for na'atu sababi, it clarifies a characteristics from the characteristics It does not have a relationship or it's not connected to the one it's following. Which is يُبَيِّنُ sifa مِنْ صِفَاتِ مَا لَهُ تَعَلُّكُمْ بِمَتْبُعِهِ Okay, the second one is that the author brought is Bedal, and Bedal is two types Bedal Bayan and Bedal Nesk. The author is Bedal Bayan and Bedal Nesk. I'm just going to give you an overview and we'll speak about each one again. Uh, even the Na'at we're going to go into deeply, okay? Don't worry. Just have an overview. The second one the author brings is called Bedal, bed, bedal uh, sorry, Atf. And Atf is two types. The Atf is Atf Bayan and Atf Nesk. Okay? And the difference between the two is um, the atfu bayan, it's tabi'ul jamid. It clarifies and explains to you the uh, matbu'. For example, Ja'a Muhammadun akhuka. Muhammad came, your brother, you're clarifying who the Muhammad here is. Okay? Um, but where is atfu nasq, the way you recognize it is that it uses a harf min al huruf. It uses wow, fa, something like that it would use. Qadim aliyun wa abuhu. Okay. Dakhala inda shaykhi al ulama'u fal muraqibuna. Fal muraqibuna, sah? The fa. So atfu nasq will use a letter from the 10 that the author is going to mention here, inshallah ta'ala, when we come to atf. And then the author speaks about badal. And the bedal are four types. Mutabak, ba'dum min kul, ishtimal, and mubayin. And the mubayin is, <coughs> it's three. Idrab, nisyan, al ghalt And we'll speak about that inshaAllah ta'ala. Last but not least, tawkeed. It's lafdi and it's haqiqi. That's the, what you need to just know about the tawabi' for now. Now the author, rahimahullah, let's go into the one we have right now with us. The example for Na'at al-Haqiqi, if we go back to the first one, is Na'at al-Haqiqi. The example for that one is, it is anything ma rafa'a dhameeran. Ba'af, pay attention to this. Pay attention to this, brothers. The Na'at al-Haqiqi is anything that places raf on a dhameer, a pronoun. Ya'udu ala al-man'ud. 
that goes back to the Mal'ut. For example, قدم محمود محمود الفاضل فالفاضل هي إذ نعت حقيقي لمحمود مرفوع بالضمة الظاهرة نعت السببي إذ ما رفع اسما ظاهرا it only places رفع on an اسم a, a noun that's apparent that consists of a pronoun that goes back to the man'ut which is حَذَرَ مَحَمُودٌ الصَّالِحُ أَخُوهُ صَالِحِيَا is the na'atu sababi li Muhammad which is marfu' with dhamma the author then rahimahullah he gave a ruling which is an na'atu tabi'u lil man'uti fi raf'ihi wa nasbihi wa khafdihi whether the na'at is haqiqi or sababi, it is tabi'un li man'utihi. How many things is it, does it follow it in? Ten things. Okay, ten things they share. Num what, number one, fi raf'ihi in its raf. So if it's marfu', so if, if the tabi' is, has raf, the man'ut has raf. Such as قدم علي العالم It follows it in the second thing which is nasb as the author mentioned نظرت محمودا الفاضل فاضلا فاضلا خفض If it's مخفوض If it's got جر on it It follows that in it which is the third فرحت بإبراهيم المجتهد إبراهيم We have to place a فتح on it because it's ممنوع من الصرف Four is تعريفه if it's معرف إن كان معرفة it's also معرفة the fifth is if it's نكرة it's also نكرة جاءني رجل فاضل رجل فاضل a man came to me who's honourable a man it, number six it follows it in what إفراده if it's single it's also single وتثنيته if it's dual which is the seventh if it's dual it's also dual eight جمعه if it's Plural is also plural. Tadkir, if it's also a masculine, it's also a masculine. Ta'nithu, if it's a feminine, it's also a feminine. Those are the ten. <coughs> now the author, rahimahullah, he goes into a chapter called Al Ma'rifat wa Nakira. The reason why he goes into that is because he's just now spoken about that the uh, uh, sorry the uh, na'at follows the man'ut even in what ta'rifuhu wa tankiru right in his ta'rifihi wa tankiri says right so what is a mu'arraf what's a nakira so now he's going to explain that to you hey والمعرفة خمسة أشياء الاسم المكبر نحو أنا وأنت والاسم العالم نحو زيد زيد ومكة والاسم المبهم نحو هذا وهذه وهؤلاء والاسم الذي فيه الألي واللام الرجل والغلام وما وما أضيف إلى واحد من هذه الأربعة والنكرة كل اسم شائع في جنسه لا لا يختص به واحد دون دون آخر the author now goes into Babu uh, al-Ma'rifat wa nakira What you need to know is the ma'rifa It is what shows a specific individual Here, here ma tadullu ala mu'ayyanin It shows a specific person To a specific person well, And it's five types It's how many types? Five types The first one is al-ism al-mudmar Ay damir Are you with me? It's the pronoun <coughs> and the pronoun the author mentions to us uh, sorry the pronoun are what brothers pronoun are three things right لِمُتَكَلِّمٍ أو مُخَاطِب أو غائب right those three and it's categorized into how much when it comes to pronoun that which is baris uh, and that which is mustatir 
that which is barij, which is out, is an apparent and it's out there in the open, you can see the pronoun, and the mustatir is hidden. The bariz is type, categorized into two, it's mutasil and it's what? Munfasil. It's connected and it's di disconnected. Okay? And we spoke about uh, uh, the definition of pronoun and everything when we do Babul Fa'il, right? 